hello everyone thank you for stopping by spirit of me 1111 it's your girl stardust 1111 here to do your forecast love and finance reading for the sign of sagittarius for august 2019 sagittarius is a fire sign so this reading may also resonate for the aries or leo as well as that is your element now this will not resonate for all of the Sagittariuses. Obviously, there's way too many of you guys out here in the world, right? So you guys have the option to get in contact with me for a personal, private look and reading for your personal situation. All of the information on how to do that will be listed down below in the description box. Don't, don't hesitate to hit me up if you need to. Um, I always like to tell you guys that tarot is timeless due to the events that have already happened in your life that are currently taking place or that will unfold for some of you Sagittarius is here in the near future, my lovelies. All right, and you're welcome to reverse the genders for my tarot card readings because my tarot card readings are gender neutral. Your kings can be queens and vice versa. All right, so without further ado, my lovely, lovely fire signs of Sagittarius, I'd like to get right into your reading, my lovelies. So spirit, what do we have for the lovely fire sign? Sagittarius for their August 2019 reading. Sagittarius for August 2019. These are my beautiful creatures, Tarot. <laughs> I really like these guys. They've been attached to my hip now for a couple months. Every time I try to go in to get another deck to read for you guys, this one just calls out to me. So hopefully I can start a new deck for September. I only go with what I'm energetically, intuitively guided to. And this has been the deck for my readings for the last couple of months. All right. So let me get into your reading. Enough chit chat, right? <laughs> All right, my lovelies. Spirit, what do we have for the lovely sign of Sagittarius for their... August 2019 reading. One of wands. You start out on fire, baby. You start out with the ace of wands. That is awesome. That is gifts from the universe. This is about creativity. It's about um, having that um, energy on your side, right? So whatever you do right now, you pretty much have the Midas touch. That that you want to do in your life is on. Um, you're going to be blessed by the universe. Your endeavors will be blessed by spirit, by your angels, and by the universe. So go for the gusto. Just do it. <laughs> like Nike, right? Those of you who want to start your own business, if you've been, um, even if in the past things didn't work out for you, um, you put your ideas out there and got shot down or your business didn't work out, if you didn't have enough money, <clears throat> you didn't plan it correctly, doesn't mean that it's never going to happen. It just wasn't your time. Now you have the energy of the Ace of Wands on your side. That's your energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's fire energy. It's about creativity. It's about being very creative. You are very creative. No soul was created without being endowed with a gift from the divine and source. Find out what your gift is, what you're really good at, and what you feel driven to do. Always give more service than what you're paid for, right? And um, it will always bring itself back to you in the greatest, most amazing ways and opportunities with that Ace of Wands type of energy. So that's what's up. Um, another ace here, one of swords, intellect. This is about um, seeking the truth. The truth will set you free. Looking for that moment of clarity in your life. It's about bright ideas, right? It's about taking that that you know you've been thinking, you've been wanting to manifest, that you've been desiring, um, and moving forward with it. Being These two aces are two new stars. So as we're using your ace to get the clarity that you seek also use that ace to cut off those things in your life low vibrational things that are not serving you right now because this ace of wands energy won't carry over into that type of life you know um so let's get more into your rating here and, and get more information for you guys so we have ten of wands here this is hardship this is about having way more on your plate being burdened down biting off more than you can chew and it is showing up in your everyday life in your physical appearance and your mental capabilities right now with that ten of wands type of energy so sagittarius you need to decide what you're going to do who you are going to cut off and what no longer serves you that you need to get rid of so that you can walk right into this ace of wands type of energy with that Ten of Wands, something has ended, okay? Tens are about things ending. 
okay? So something's ended and you had hardships and things not working out so well for you or going so well, and that has led to something ending. But not every ending is just an ending. Sometimes you have to let things end so that you can have new, awesome, amazing beginnings with that ace and wands type of energy, right? All right, Sagittarius, let's go right into your three of pentacles. This is about mastership. Putting your head together with life minds and you have more creativity there that's about mastership imagine yourself going into your trade going into your craft your line of work and you're a rookie you're really really green in the beginning so you're honing your craft and as you go you learn more and you build off of that and you add to your skills and abilities so then you're perfecting your craft you reach a level of mastery and that's when people begin to gravitate towards you your promotions are coming um, for some of you starting your new business you're being blessed by the universe that business is going to be Abundant is going to do really well for some of you. You're just going to have a lot of Creativity coming your way. You're going to have like minds that are going to be willing to come together with you and help you grow those gifts, ideas, and talents into your wildest dreams and manifest that into your life. Because anything that you believe for you that is possible, it is possible. It is done to you as you believe. So believe that you are great and you deserve greatness and awesome things are coming and it will happen in time. Six of Cups, Memories. This is reminiscent. What are you thinking about from your past? What is it about your past that, you know, you're reminiscing about your memories? Are they good memories? Are they bad memories for you at this point in time in your life? Are you thinking about the things that didn't work out before? Or are you thinking about someone in the past? This could be someone that wants to come and reconcile with you from your past. A person from your past, a family member, or a past love. Okay? that wants to come forward and wants to reconcile with you so six of cups type of energy that's cancer scorpio pisces that's water energy and i don't know if i properly caught my three of pentacles earth energy virgo taurus capricorn all right just that down <laughs> So we have the transformation here. This is 13. This is the death card, okay? And um, death is ruled by Scorpio. So someone is definitely dealing with a Scorpio. That is a water sign. And like I said, new things. Things have to end. When you have that 10 of wands, something has ended. But death is not about a death of the physical 3D, your body. It's about old ways and habits dying off, old things that didn't serve you. So you have to get rid of the old so that the new can come in. If you're not willing to get rid of the old, there's no room for the new. And then you block your own energy and then you become stagnant. And then comes depression and then comes lack of what you don't have and there comes those thoughts of the missed opportunities the things in the past that didn't work out for you so you just have to know that you are worthy of all that you desire and want in your life and it's very capable of bringing that into fruition and making that happen to you it's all how you think about your situation and it's done to you as you believe hey guys shh. so kids home summer break i'm recording around children but that's not going to stop me from getting you guys some messages out here. Get the fire signs today. I have only fire signs left. I don't know how I end up on all the other signs. Do the fire signs. It was not intentional, but it did work out for me. <laughs> this card is like, ah. Ooh, the world card. So with the world card here, that's fixed energy. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Okay. Shh. Card of Chloe. Shh. So let's get more information for you guys with this world card here. This is about things coming to a completion, right? You are successfully completed a phase and a level in your life. Uh, congratulations. The world card is also here. It reminds you that things ending so that new things can come in. It's like the transformation. It's like the ten of wands. Some of you are experiencing a loss. Some of you, things have changed and something has ended. Something has completed as well as something has ended for you, Sagittarius, is out there in your life. So let's get more into your clarifiers and find out exactly what that is and what message spirit has for you lovely, lovely fire signs of Sagittarius. That world card just came out. Ten of Pentacles. I like that. The High Priestess. And one more. The Lovers. Okay. 
So then we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So someone has reached the ultimate stage of abundance and prosperity in their life. Um, some of you have um, old money, ancestral money, um, like money from your grandparents or money passed down from a generations, right? So some of you are abundant and very well off. Some of you are feeling like you're in your best life right now. You have good health. You're living your best life. You're working really hard. You're manifesting right now. Some of you are actually going to be coming into a windfall of cash. And there could be some of you who are actually literally going to be winning the lottery when Ten of Pentacles show up. So congratulations to whoever is receiving this Ten of Pentacles type of energy. That type of abundance and flow in your life is simply awesome and amazing. Um, the high priest is here it's about secrets she's a holder of secrets it's about intuition going within your inner wisdom your inner knowing so when the high priest that shows up here just remind you to always be true to yourself stay true to yourself and who you are you are a divine being you are an infinite being having a physical limited experience in a human body on planet earth you just come here to raise a vibration of love on the planet and to learn your soul's lessons before you transition okay some of you are dealing with the Gemini here. We have the lover's card. This can be a twin flame type of connection or someone is going to be bumping into their twin flame here. Um, with that type of energy, I'm looking at the lover's card as someone who may have other people um, in their life who has other lovers, people that you are seeing with that six of cups. Somebody is remembering um, a past, remembering you from the past. Somebody wants to come forward, reconciliation with a past love from the past that you had a very, very strong connection with. This person is a soulmate or a twin flame. You have a soul contract with this person, okay, from a past life. You guys have known each other before. You're going to recognize them by their energy and their vibrations, not by looks alone. When you feel that energy, you don't know why you're so drawn or pulled towards this person. That's your energy recognizing your counterpart. That's you recognizing your other half if it's a twin flame or if it's a soulmate. That's that initiation of the soul contract at that moment. And no words. There's no words for that experience. There's no exchange of words for those moments. It's all vibrations of energy. Language was designed to hide energies and vibrations, okay? So everything is all vibrations. You'll definitely know this person when you're in their presence, for sure. And the high priestess knows, the inner knowing, she knows. So your high priestess is here. You're definitely going to know your person. Your high priestess energy is going to hone in on them. It's going to be like time and space is nothing. Everything around you guys are going, it's going to stand still. Like nothing moves that moment. Nothing moves that connection. Nothing moves that energy. And nothing is going to vibrate like the two of you vibrate when you come together. <laughs> Pretty awesome, huh? And that was channeling. I didn't even know I was going to say half of that stuff. It just came off the top of my head. I get like that sometimes. And I get these channel ends, it's like, I just let it rip. <laughs> okay, so mother healing. As your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. The high priestess here, um, again, your inner knowing, your inner wisdom, and the high priestess could definitely be someone's mother um, or grandmother. Somebody has a mother healing issues, and you have someone who has passed on and is looking over you, they're watching over you, and they're telling you that, if you're thinking about the past and things in the past that didn't work out, your past hurts, it's holding you back energetically. It's keeping you from reaching your highest potential and a vibration of this ace of wands type of energy so that you can live your best life. Your high priestess wants you healed. Your ancestors want you healed. Um, your mother, those of you um, who have experience in a mother who's no longer here, um, she hears your cries. She hears your prayers and wants you healed and wants you to know that you need to go on and live your life. The best thing you can do for your past loved one is to to show them that through you they still live through you they still have vibration and to live your best life and step into that vibration explore your options it's time to look at other possibilities it's a good time to make changes so again with this ace of swords right you're going to use this sword to cut through the bullshit cut right through that that does not serve you and cut out those things and those people out of your life cut them off and cut them out they no longer serve you they're blocking that ace of wands energy what's for you is for you from the universe and sometimes you got to get rid of people that hold you down solo wings fly the highest because there's nothing or no one weighing them now it's not about being selfish it's about putting yourself first self-love so i hope someone got what they needed out of this if you guys need that personal private reading my information will be down below in the description box. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification if you would like to be notified the next time I upload some content over here to my YouTube channel. Spirit of me, 11 and 11.
Thank you all so much. Namaste, my love.